Hey, what's up guys? This is Epic782 here, here to bring you guys my episode 1 review slash first impressions of Kuroko's Basketball. Now, I would have put this on Seasonal Talk Stand if weren't, if this if weren't the fact that this show has a possi possibility of being ongoing. So like more than like 20, 12, more than 12, more than 26 episodes. I know it's going to be more than 12 episodes, but I believe it's going to be, you know, ongoing because it's a Shonen Jump title. And it has about, I believe it, it's, it has 16 volumes out, so it's probably around almost 200 chapters. So I, I would think, you know, Production IG has a good amount of material to work with. So, um, yeah, so that's the main reason as to why I'm putting this um, type of video on this channel instead of Seasonal Talk Sam, where I'll just put, you know, Seasonal Anime on Seasonal Talk Sam. But, um, but anyway, I just want to give my quick thoughts. Well, not quick thoughts, just, you know, a brief um, yeah, just my thoughts in general of the first episode of Kuroko's Basket and what I think about the series so far. Um, judging, basing off the first episode. So I'll just give you guys, um, <coughs> just, um, a quick synopsis of what it is, what it's about, and just, yes. Yeah, so pretty much the first episode you had, there was pretty much just some, it was a narration, you know, just talking about how there was a basketball team at a certain school, which I don't remember the name of the school was, but um, but it pretty much they had the best basketball team, and the regulars of that of that basketball team they were known as the Generation of Miracles, and you know then they pretty much they pretty much won almost every game. They went up pretty much yeah that would say they pretty much went up they pretty much won almost every game, um, if not all. And then um, after you know the Generation of Miracles, the players part of um, the Generation of Miracles after they graduated from middle school to high school. After they graduated from middle school, they pretty much went off to um, different high schools, and there were five players of the generation. There were five players on the Generation of Miracles. Um, so yeah, so they pretty much went off to five different um, high schools with top basketball teams. But then they mentioned that there was a there apparently there was a sixth player of from the Generation of Miracles, and he was known as the Phantom Six player. And apparently, they said there are rumors that Phantom Six player is now a freshman at you know at the school where this where the story takes place, which is called Setting. I think it's Setting High School. Setting yeah, Setting High School, and just yeah. So based so pretty much there's a player from the Generation of Miracles going to Setting High School, and um, and yeah, and that's pretty much that. That's that's pretty much I guess the what do you, what do you call that? The prologue of this of the story would be. Um, now we're pretty much in the first episode. We're introduced to two of the main two, yeah, pretty much two of the main the two of the main characters of the series. You're introduced to um, Kagami, who's this really strong guy and a really excellent basketball basketball player at that. Who pretty much who came from America. He's pretty much, I believe he spent I would say yeah I think he spent most of his middle school in America, and he pretty much went to high, and now he came back from America to and. Came, came to Japan um, to play basketball because he wasn't really impressed with, you know, the people playing, the people in America, how playing in America because he's a, because he has a natural talent of, he's, he's a natural born basketball player, like, literally, like, just, he's just naturally good at it, that's, and he pretty much, he was going up against people in America and honestly, he pretty much considered those the people in America weren't couldn't even touch him, so he was honestly just he was pretty much disappointed with, you know, who he, who he was going up against in America. So he went to Japan and he joined um <clears throat> and he joined um the um, the um the school's basketball team, and and one day and he and he had to sign the sheet where you know he would have to put his name and the reason as to why he wants to he wants to join the team and he didn't put any and he didn't write in a re he didn't write a reason to, yeah, he just didn't put anything for the reason because he said that, like, he doesn't really have a specific reason as to why he wants to play basketball. He just wants to play basketball and get, and just, you know, he just wants to play against good people. Because apparently, because like I said before, when he went to, when he was playing against people in America, they weren't up to a standard. So, so he thinks hopefully and there will be some perp some people in Japan that you know that could get on his, that could be on his level, and you know entertain him a little I would say, and then we're introduced to 
the second um the second main character who pretty much I would say yeah um Tetsuya Kuroko and he's he's a weirdo just to just to put out um bluntly um and to be honest he's really not good at basketball at all now now well yeah because honestly in the first episode you know um just he he played against Kagami and he was like I always wanted to play against you and just he literally was getting destroyed by Kagami like he couldn't even like every time he would try to you know make a um make a shot he would always get you know he 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 would always get um um the ball taken away by Kagami now that's not because you know Kagami is a natural talent that's also part of the reason but literally but he just completely sucks like even he would even when they were practicing you know shooting and stuff he couldn't he couldn't make he couldn't ba- he he couldn't make the, a shot for his life, like he just he would shoot it and it would just go completely on the other side. I would say of the of the um of the court, but um but the reason has to but and he's also and they pretty much to reveal this in the first episode that like he he is the sixth phantom player, and the reason as to why he's the, he's known as the sixth phantom player because his skills of passing are just ridiculous like literally like and the and the reason as to why I said he's weird is because like he, he he's un he's he's unnoticeable he's like literally like if if he doesn't say anything then no one would notice he's in the same room like he would literally have to say something to let people know that he's here like like when um when um the, um the coach yeah the coach of the team you know was you know checking out and seeing if you know who should play what you know what person should play whatever um he, he he was like you know excuse me and then she was like oh holy crap when did you get here I, and he was like i've been here the entire time i was like what the fuck so really and just and in the end the first in pretty much the first game um they went up against these um these sophomores and i think it was a practice round it wasn't you know for, it wasn't an official game but you know it pretty much this but the first game it, it displayed um, Kag- not Kagami, um, Kuroko's, you know, excellent skill of passing, because literally, like, he uses his, um, his, um, some, his ability to not be noticed as an, as an advantage, so when, like, you know, like, when, you know, someone is surrounded by a couple, of, when, when someone is surrounded by, you know, the other team, and they have literally no one to pass to, you know, they see Kagami, and he just passes the ball to Kagami, I mean, not Cogni, God damn it, Kuroko passes the ball to Kuroko, and they wouldn't even see Kuroko passing it to another player. Like, they would find out as soon as a player is has the ball and just makes it for the shot, makes it for the hoop. So, that's, so, yeah, just, I, that was just, despite, just, like, I'm just, like, Kuroko is just, I mean, even though he's weird, I, I like Kuroko. Like, just the fact that he's, like, he he pretty much and he says this in, in the first episode too that he he's pretty much revert he's re, he's he's pretty much a shadow like because and just yeah so um like I don't know like this series it kind of feels a little bit like ICO twenty one where like you know Senna it, it's pretty much I guess the um damn what do you call it um not the backup but the um the, the team special weapon secret weapon actually yeah so in a sense Kuroko is the secret weapon is the secret weapon of this basketball team as to you know Senna being the secret weapon to the football team in Ashio 21 so but other than that yeah like this was a the first episode was really interesting like just and then I like the relationship between Kuroko and uh, Kagami like how Kuroko like how like Kagami gets pissed off every time you know um you know um um, Kuroko says something to him, or when, you know, whenever, um, just when, um, Kuroko just, you know, sneaks up behind them and, you know, says something, and then, like, you know, Kagami's all freaked out, he's like, whoa, when did you get here? And he's like, I've been here the entire time, so, like, <laughs> that's kind of, pretty much, I find that pretty hilarious. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what else, what happens next, so I'm definitely going to stick with, um, this series. Um, I don't know if I'll do any more of these episode reviews, um, but I decided to do one just for the first episode. Um, if you guys want me to do 
and, um, more of these um, episode reviews for Kuroko's basket, basketball. I keep trying, I don't know why I keep, you know, thinking of calling this by its Japanese, t- Japanese name. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, if you, like I said, if you want me to keep, me, keep, if you want me to keep doing these, um, review, weekly reviews of Kuroko's basketball, then leave a comment below reg- letting me know. Um, yeah, if I were to give an episode, this is the first episode grade, I'll give it a B plus or a B plus slash A minus. Like, it was a really interesting episode, and just, I just want to see what happens next between, um, the bas- with the basketball team and Kuroko and Kagami, because Kagami's goal is pretty much, you know, to, yeah, it's pretty much his goal, in a sense, is to pretty much go up against, um, the generation of miracles, and, you know, and seeing how Kag, seeing how, Kog, I mean, Kagami, Kuroko is, was a member of the Generation of Miracles. He was like, at, he was like, at, at this point in time, you have no, you would get demolished by the Generation of Miracles. Like, literally, you, you would get destroyed. So, he was like, he was like, and he got all mad at um, Kuroko for saying that. He was like, bits of truth. And like, but he's like, but you know what, but you know what, Kagami, I'm going to help you become a better player so you could, so you could eventually you know, be on the same level as the Generation of Miracles. So, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, leave in the comments below regarding the first episode if you've seen it. Um, if you haven't seen it, go, I, if you like basketball, then this is this is definitely the anime for you. Um, this is The Sense 2 signing out, and I will see you guys later. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry in this video. Um, it's like, what? What? How many? Like, almost 12 minutes. So, yeah, I apologize for the lengthy, the lengthy video, but... Just I had a lot of state to say about the first episode of Kuroko's Basket. Like I said, I'm really sticking with this one. And just, yeah. So anyway, catch you guys.